In this video, I'm gonna take you on the journey on me purchasing my new DJI Ronin RS3. Quite a few years ago, DJI, as well as other brands, came out with gimbals for your smartphone. This intrigued me, but I was still concerned about the cost. So after doing some research, I went ahead and went with the DJI Osmo 3. The reality of purchasing the DJI Osmo 3 was I was avoiding the hard reality when it comes to my smartphone. See, I have an iPhone 11 and it has 64 gigabytes of storage. The only problem is I always run out of storage. So for me to use my DJI Osmo 3 with my iPhone 11, I never could record very long footage. That's when I remembered I had an old iPhone 8 that was in my camera bag. I grabbed my old iPhone 8, deleted all the unnecessary apps, pictures, and videos off it, and I had a ton of storage to use on my new gimbal. So I used this exclusively on my DJI Osmo 3. The only issue is this phone is outdated. So as far as the camera, it does not give me as crystal clear footage as the iPhone 11 does. My long-term goal with using the DJI Osmo 3 with my iPhone 8 was to really get used to using a gimbal. There's a lot of different movements that you do that you can actually steady the shot even more by just even how you walk. So I actually used this, this setup exclusively last year. In fact, when we went on our family vacation to Kauai, the only cameras I brought were my drone and this DJI Osmo 3 with my iPhone 8. I wanted to get used to it because eventually I wanted to move to a DSLR gimbal, but I wanted to make sure that I was comfortable with using the gimbal and getting the good footage. This way I could easily transition to the purchase of a DSLR gimbal. The only issue is those run anywhere from seven to $1,200. But I just finished a long project for a client and I was about to get paid, so I knew I was gonna have funding available. For those of you that are new to my channel, I do a lot of unboxing videos of new gear that I purchased from my YouTube channel. At the end of last year, I purchased a ton of gear to create my overhead shot for my new unboxing videos. The thing you don't realize is for every purchase I make, I do a ton of research trying to find out the best piece of gear that's gonna work for my YouTube studio. I read a ton of product reviews on Amazon. I go to company websites, check out their promotional videos, but where I get most of my research done is I actually search on YouTube for unboxing and review videos of the gear I want to buy. In fact, right after I purchased a ton of gear at the end of last year to create my overhead rig, DJI came out with the Ronin RS Mini 3, and I thought it was gonna be the perfect solution for me. I even went and did some research on their website. I started watching more product videos, more promo videos, and I was pretty excited because the price was fairly low. The initial price for the Mini RS3 was around 360 bucks. After doing more research on the RS Mini 3, I realized this gimbal was actually designed more for mirrorless cameras. So I reached out to DJI Tech Support to make sure that this gimbal was gonna be compatible with my camera. Initially, the Canon ADD was listed on their compatibility list, but the more that I researched, I realized that how quickly it was removed from their compatibility list. When I reached out to DJI Tech Support to find out why it was removed from the compatibility list, that's when they told me the only way the RS Mini 3 would be compatible with my camera is if I used a lens that was 24 millimeters or less. Initially, I tried to convince myself that I would be okay with just using a 24 millimeter lens. But the more I thought about it, I realized if I'm gonna spend $400 on a gimbal, I wanna make sure that I can use a majority of my lenses. So I ended up just giving up researching the gimbal and turned back to my unboxing videos for my overhead rig and completely forgot about the gimbal entirely. I mean, besides, I was busy recording and creating 14 unboxing videos for the gear that I bought for my overhead rig. So I had other things that I was worried about. I kept thinking about the DSLR gimbal and what it could mean for the videos that I could create for my YouTube studio. So in the background, I was still researching these DSLR gimbals. Then last month, I released the last of my 14 unboxing videos and 24 YouTube short videos, and it was time to move on to the next project. After I got paid from the last project, I definitely had money available to buy a new DSLR gimbal. So I started the research again. So I had this money and it was basically burning a hole in my pocket. So I went back to researching the DSLR gimbal. The hardest part with DJI is they had five different gimbals available. They have the SC, the RS2, the RSC2, the RS3, 
and the RS Pro.